Hi guys, and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Thursday, the 6th of August, 2020. Thanks for joining me. I'm using the Herbal Tarot again for today's reading. I'm not the only one who loves it. I saw in the comments that you guys really like this deck. It is really nice to use. It's super grounded, and it just has a healing kind of quality to it. On a different note, I have sent out all the decks of my tarot cards, the Gregory Scott Tarot, so those have all been posted out now. I'm so excited. So if you ordered one, you should be getting one soon in the post. If not, they're being published at the end of September. I saw on Amazon, they've got a release date. I think it's the 25th and you can pre-order them, but you can buy them from the 25th of September onwards. So I'm super excited that those are coming out and that the ones I got, I had them, um, here I think on the Thursday and by Friday I was posting away steadily and I finished today so hooray all right this is for Thursday the 6th of August let's see what the cards want you to know the Knight of Cups and we have Sarsaparilla Jinzing, the fool, and justice, plantain. Okay, let's look up the meanings of the actual flowers. Knight of Cups. Cups, cups, cups. I thought I saw you. Ace of Cups. Knight of Cups. Sarsaparilla. Alterative tonic aphrodisiac used for stomach, liver, and skin disorders has definite tonic properties and will enhance male sexual energy. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Healing, sexual desire, calm nerves, and a feeling of being comfortable in your own skin yeah so um kind of like a painkiller almost the tonic properties and enhancing male se sexual energy so operating from a place of comfort very much in line with the knight of cups was trying to figure out his feelings when to act and when not to act next we've got the fool jinjing Oh, and we've got two major arcana, so that's good. Okay, ginseng is the herb used for cosmic energy, herb of cosmic energy. It is a tonic, another tonic, nice. And a demulcent. The root is used for all deficiencies and weaknesses. Uranus. Okay, Uranus is the unexpected, the miraculous. So walking into what could be the light of the divine. I've never seen that with the fool. Or it could be this abyss but it's tapping into something bigger than yourself. And its root, root is used for deficiencies and it's another tonic that's super healing to you. So that is the second card that's talking about a tonic and the Knight of Cups healing. Yes, we know that, but the Fool usually not so much. Next, Justice. Plantain. Plantain adjusts heat and body metabolism and is an anti-inflammatory, a diuretic, an alterative. I don't know what that is. An alterative. Alterative? I'm not, I don't even know if I'm saying it properly. It is used as a poultice for infections, wounds and injuries, and as a tea for bladder infections and hepatitis. Nice. Okay, so it's um, anti-inflammatory, so it's soothing. Diuretic is um, detoxifying. So we're letting go of pain here. The Knight of Cups sometimes gets his fingers burned when he's super interested in someone or something. He lets his passion take over and he kind of pursues someone or something that he really wants. And um, sometimes he gets rejected because he doesn't judge the situation properly. And other times he needs to bring up that male sexual energy and pursue someone he's in love with and say, hey, I love you. Do you want to get together? And then he won't be rejected and it'll be wonderful. But he has to learn how to read a situation better so that he can succeed. Now, 
The Knight of Cups is here in the day, and we've got the tonic, sarsaparilla there. So it's really likely that if you act on your feelings and on your desires, you'll have a positive outcome. You'll feel soothed and happy and calm as a result of taking action. Got those wings here. Uh, he's free to act on his feelings, to do what he wants, and he's already prepared with the tonic that he needs to deal with the rejection or the difficulties. And he's prepared. He knows that he wants what he wants and he's entitled to get it. The Fool, similarly, Jinzing, I always thought was like Ginkgo Balboa, like for the, for the mind. Isn't that what all the kids used to take at school for the mind? Can't remember. <laughs> Jinzing might help me if I looked it up. <laughs> yes, cosmic energy. Um, I don't know what a demulcent is either. The root is used for all deficiencies and weaknesses. Okay, so the full deficiencies and weaknesses. Not knowing which way to go, having no idea, smelling the roses instead of making a plan. So you're supported. If you're someone who acts on a whim, on your feeling, Jinzing is helping you here um, make up for that weakness and it's putting you in this divinely guided light and by looking there and by following what's been laid out for you instead of just staggering around with no clue, you're being supported in your path forward. I don't know if you've ever felt this in life, but sometimes you've been in a situation, you've had no clue what you're doing and it feels like the universe has wanted you to be there and it's kind of just help you, helped you kind of get through a situation and afterwards you realize it's one of the most life-changing events in your life. Also, if you've done something recently, look at all the things that could have gone wrong and how much of your higher self and something good in your life plays an active role and kind of leads you by the hand. So really trust that new people, places, things you're pursuing in terms of the emotional side of things. A lot of that is destined and a lot of it is meant to work out the way it is. So have kind of trust in the process and don't feel like you have to control everything. If you do control things, you're much likelier to fall down an abyss or a hole into negativity than you are if you just let go. And if you lay, let things take their natural course and if you feel, follow your gut and your feeling and the, the messages of your higher self, Finally, justice. Um, yeah, here, so we've got um, Libra ruled by Venus. Justice is Libra. Venus, the plantain bit is about, yeah, painkiller and detoxing. So the feelings, the negative stuff, you're going to be able to detox and let go of. And the positive stuff you'll be able to build on. So let's say he's um, finding a girlfriend and he goes to the first one. She's like, no, thanks. He's like, okay, I am meant to be on this path. I've been rejected. That didn't work. So I'm going to let go of that, detox that. Next person, hello, how's it going? Yay, love you back. Everything's great. Build on that positive relationship. Make it even more beautiful. Venus, planet of love and beauty. Libra, beauty, loving love and focus on building the positive or on the positive and you're able to create something really wonderful and new. So the cards are giving you a natural emotional resilience. They're also lifting your real desires out of you like little jewel kind of berries here. And they're just coming out of all the green and they're presenting themselves to you. This is what you wanna do, this is what you wanna do. And these, imagine these little red berries blossoming into a rose, into flowers. You can then smell each one, so it promises a lot. So there's a real sense of desire. If I make an effort in life, I can get some really fabulous things out of life. And by smelling the roses and trusting that things are meant to work out for you, you start to listen to and you start to hear guidance that says, go up here, go down there, go down there, go down there. And eventually you find places and circumstances and things you can bounce your feelings off of and say, I like this. I want this in my life. And you have a choice today. You can either focus on the negative and kind of wallow in that, although it's soothed somehow by all these tonics, which make it easier for you to take action. 
or you focus on the positive stuff, you build on that, even though there is stuff to detox at the same time, but you can do more than one thing at a time. You don't just have to detox, you can also pursue things you enjoy. So do more than one thing at a time. Follow your desires. And look, we've got blue, little bits of red, more red and blue, and then loads and loads of red. So the desire is kind of make, realizing itself through the day. And it's dependent on your focus on the positive rather than the cliff edge. Moving in that direction and building something lovely. Yeah, a poultice for infections, wounds and injuries. So, I mean, we're again, we're healing something. We're soothing the pain, the polluted, corrupted area of the body. And we're making it all better by replacing it with love and positivity, comfort, support, a tonic, kind of soothing balm for the soul. Yeah, so let all this support take you in the right direction and get ready to build a wonderful new path in your life. It's usually green, turns a bit blue today, and then you're in a whole new universe with purple and orange trees. It, it'll be amazing. Trust the process. Your life is waiting to kind of blossom for you. That's what these flowers here are saying. It's trying to open its petals and to enchant you with the wonderful smells and the way it looks and all the wonderful things that can happen in your life. So miracles are trying to happen in your life. You've got to play a part in them manifesting. So make sure to direct your gaze towards the, the ideal, the unmanifest in your life and listen to the messages you get from your guidance, follow it, and a whole new doorway opens up for you into a wonderful, unexplored future. Number-wise, we've got a chord card, that's one. One and 11 is 12, one and two is three. Three in numerology is about new beginnings and the way you think, the way you communicate with self and others. So it's time to back away from the cliff edge and to take a new path in life that's unexplored, enchanting, and that's really going to bring your passions and joy to the surface. Have an amazing day. If you'd like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. Just click on book your reading on the front page to order your reading with me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please hit the subscribe button and share it online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.